What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Rocket Hour hit in Heartbreaks. And I guess not the Rocket Hour anymore. It's just the Rocket Hits in Heartbreaks. I'm smiling, folks, because this is going to be a lot more fun to talk about than the last two weeks. If you remember, the first week I did the show, we had a couple of nice hits, and it was fun to talk about. The next week I did the show, we had the maybe the worst luck ever and missed a couple that we really should have hit. We went over those. The next week, the handicapping really wasn't that great. Uh, there wasn't a lot of heartbreaks because we really weren't close a lot other than one uh, nice little score there at Monmouth in the week. This week, <laughs> a little bit different story. So let's kick it off with Haskell Day at Monmouth Park. That's where the big one came this weekend. Wow, did we have some fun. So here was the ticket. It was the late pick five. That involves races 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 at Monmouth. Um, we'll go through it now. We'll kind of go through what happens. Uh, so to fast forward the story, $120 ticket cashes for the late pick five at Monmouth on, on Saturday. For three thousand five hundred ninety-two dollars and fifty-five cents, one of the biggest rocket caches uh, we've had uh, this season. It, and, and man, we were pumped, and it was a long, long hour of waiting. I can tell you that. Uh, before I get the results and kind of go through them up on the screen, I do kind of want to go through the ticket real, real quickly. Uh, the first leg was the Molly pitcher. We quickly said we're singling the three. That's just all there is to it. I don't think anybody can beat her. We're singling the three. The three was search results and search results comes home. So that one was, uh, you know, that, that one was not a lot of stress for a single. Because search results was in the sequence, it kind of allowed you to use a few more horses that maybe you wouldn't have if the sequence was a little tougher with that first leg. So that was a real key to hitting this thing. She was in the sequence. She was the single and she won. Uh, the next leg was the United Nations. We just used the four most logical horses in the race uh, at Hamo, uh, Tribuvon, Temple, and Gufo. Uh, and at Hamo gets it done finally. We chased that horse all year. He's hurt us at times. It was great to get a payback from him uh, in the United Nations for at Hamo. We went three deep in the Haskell. Uh, I'll get into that a little later uh, because I want the last three races are a true sign of teamwork. <laughs> and teamwork got this one home. We went five deep in the next, four deep in the last. Uh, and like I said, I'll get into the last three races in depth when we talk about the results because it really was teamwork that got this one home. So, uh, but yeah, $120 ticket. Uh, if you play the Rockets often, you know we usually don't go over 100. Uh, on rare occasions we do, we thought this is a big day with a big pool. Um, we really kind of argued back and forth on the last two legs to try to not get it over 120. And finally, we both were like, look, it's $20 over the budget. It's a big day, there'll be a big pool. And if, if we get knocked out of one of those last two legs, we're really gonna be upset because those were very tough legs to get through um, as we're gonna see here in a second. So $120 ticket with a logical favorite singled in the first leg. I've said it on the show a ton. When you're playing pick fives, you don't have to beat every favorite. When if you just beat a couple, you're going to get paid and you, you can single horses that are logical in pick fives and get away with it a lot more than pick fours and pick threes. So right there, search results. That was a single. All right. Now, let me pull it up now. I'll pull up on the board the uh, results. We'll go through them real quick. This was a ton of fun. Uh, indeed. All right, here we go. So search results, first race, easy victory for us. Uh, never in doubt. So you go on to the second race here. Really at Hamo, he was there the whole way. Uh, he wasn't, you know, it didn't really look like he wasn't going to lose the last 100 yards. So two races we didn't sweat out. All right, this was the key right here. And well, there was there was two keys. Um, I, I think when we started this, it was kind of a, let's single Taba or let's single Jack Christopher. And I think when we first started, it's like, that's the smart move. And in the it was just like, yeah, you're going to have to go one way or the other. Uh, of course, I'm doing these with Jared. So who do you think he wants to single? Taba. He, I I don't know that Taba has a bigger fan, right? I mean, it's it's crazy. The more we got to talking about this, I said, look, we have a single. There's a lock of a single in search results. There's no reason we need to single here. I know, like, long-term expected value yeah, you got to take a stand when you got two horses that are going to be short prices. I get it. 
every sequence is different. If that, if we had to go five deep, let's say, or four deep in that first leg, and search results wasn't there, we would have singled in this spot. But I didn't feel like we needed to. So I said, all right, we're going too deep. And I said, you know, Cyberknife, we can we can afford to put him in this. He's here for a reason. Brad Cox does not ship horses just for the hell of it. Let's throw him in and let's see what happens. And if we get to the end of this and it's way over our budget, forget it. We'll throw him out. It's like, all right, fine. So we put Cyberknife in the original one. Thank God he stayed in. Um, unbelievable here. In another race, because we had the 127 where we didn't really sweat it. They, those are the three horses that looked like they're going to win pretty much the whole stretch. So uh, pretty easy there. So we kept him in and Cyberknife wins. So now we'll go to this race. And um, this is just the situation here. The number five horse, Magic Surprise. Uh, this was actually my top pick in the race. Uh, listen. I'm going to click on him right now and, and kind of talk about this trainer uh, here. So Magic Surprise was running first time for uh, Jose Cameo. And this guy is winning in bunches on the East Coast now at Monmouth, at Belmont. Uh, I think he might have one or two at Saratoga so far. Don't quote me on that one. But it was first It was first uh, time starter for this trainer. Or not a first time starter, but a first time starting for the new trainer. He didn't really fit numbers wise. I said, look, I think we're going to see your improvement. Jared agreed, but it, you know how it is. It's it's like, this is a wide open race. This is one we're going to have to use some horses on. It's a maiden claimer on the turf right after the Haskell. These are usually upsetters. We went five deep in this spot. <laughs> we could have singled. Magic Surprise wins. So that was fun. This was the longest 30 minutes of my life because this was another race going into it. We saw the payouts. We knew we were alive to a lot. Um, and it was just nerve wracking because it's another cheap race. We're four deep in the race, but you guys know how it goes. They're all threats in races like this. Um, we went one, two, five, and seven for this one. Um, I kind of gave myself credit for the cyber knife thing. I'll give Jared credit for this one. I didn't like the two that well. He said, let's throw the two on there. I think we took out maybe the eight and put the two on. The two come home, come home, <laughs> comes home and wins. Face 2180. We've got it. And like I said, scroll down here. Huge pick five payout of almost $3,600. And like I said, it was teamwork. I don't really think Jared wanted to use Cyberknife whatsoever. I really did not care for the two that well. But bam, comes home. What a score here for the Rockets. And congratulations, everybody that played them. This was a fun, fun day. Like I said, it was a long 30 minutes. I was uh, driving home from Saratoga when this uh, when this race was getting ready to go. And it looks time like stood still waiting for this race to go off. Uh, but another one, really, we didn't really sweat it out much. We had the one, we had the five, we had the two. They all finished in the top three. And then this race here, we had the five, we had the two, we had the nine. So, like, none of these races were even really a sweat, which was crazy because there's usually one that is. And like I said, comes up with that kind of payoff. Um, we thought about throwing Cyberknife out. Uh, that was the, like one of the last horses on the ticket. We just kept it at that 120. Um, thank God. And um, yeah, because if you throw Cyberknife out, we're, we're below that $100 uh, budget that we kind of give ourselves. But um, I said, hey, it's a big pull. Let's try it. If he loses, if he wins, we're going to get, we're going to be sick. And he won. So thankfully we were not sick. So all right, now let's move on from Haskell, even though I don't really want to because that was so fun. Um, and, and let's move on to another one on Saturday because we were very hot Saturday. I'll move on to Saratoga, the early pick five. This was fun. Um, first time in a while, I actually put in a ticket at a machine. Uh, I, I I don't know. Like, I just said, ah, I don't really don't want to play this one on my phone. Played this one on the machine. Uh, I'll, I'll share the ticket for you guys now. It was a $90 early pick five ticket here at Saratoga to kick off the Saturday card. There you see it, five deep by a single, by three, by six deep. And then uh, we had Nest and Secret Oath in the last. So we played both of those horses in the last. Now, originally we had the six and the seven in the second leg and we were singled to Nest in the last leg. That changed when the six scratch that left that race where it just kind of looked like the seven Brazilian air was going to win easily. So we kept this. We, we just said, hey, we'll single the seven. Let's throw in Secret Oath. We're going to be super pissed if Secret Oath wins and we get knocked out. 
when we could have, you know, played the same value of ticket, uh, you, you know, with now with the scratch. So that's what we did. Ended up, we probably wasted $45 making a three, five instead of three in the last leg because Ness won by like a hundred legs. So let's go through it though real quick here. We'll kind of show you uh, the results, show you what happened. This one, this was a fun one. Uh, it, it didn't pay a ton, but on a $90 ticket, uh, this thing pays six thirty one seventy five right there. So the big five, six thirty one seventy five on a ninety dollar ticket. Look, I mean, we're gonna take five hundred forty dollar profit uh, every day. Like I'm not gonna complain about it, right? So we went five deep to start this ticket here. Uh, this was a two year old uh, race on the turf. First time uh, starters for most of them. Uh, Sia's maker combination. Uh, I think you heard Jared talk about it maybe last week on Blinkers Off or one of the shows we did. You know, Sia's maker, he has a hard time leaving him off. I certainly do too. So right here, easy winner there. Here was our single. The single wins and wins by a nose. It was neck and neck the whole way down the stretch. I looked at my buddy Vinny and I said, it's never easy here. This horse looked like a complete standout. One by a nose, just shaking my head. It's never easy at Saratoga. But uh, Brazilian Air gets the job done. This was a big key. We only went three deep in this race here. Uh, I really liked Union Lake coming into this spot. It was seven to one. This horse was acting up like crazy on the track. Buck the jockey off. Jockey has to jump off. It's like, ah, oh, shit. I guess we're too deep now because this seven's not going to run very well, I don't think. But ends up running really well and gallops away from the three, a horse we didn't have down the lane. And the three was really looming large, but uh, Union Lake got it done. Fast forward to the, oops, this one there, the fourth leg here, another uh, maiden special weight, uh, but this time for three-year-olds. Kind of a lot of unknown horses in here. That's why I went six deep. I just, I didn't have a good feeling about it at all. Jared didn't either. We just tried to use as many as we could because the goal for this whole thing is just get alive to the three and the five. Uh, originally it was the three. And then after, like I said, the scratch, like let's get alive to the three and the five. We have no expectations that it's going to pay what the Monmouth one paid, right? That's why I paid a $90 ticket. It's like, hey, if we can be alive to like 500 bucks, that was kind of our thought process, to the two favorites in the Coaching Club American Oaks, that's great. So let's try to get there. Let's not get cute. And so we went six deep here. I think the four was like maybe our second or third horse on the ticket. So could have trimmed it down, but uh, we didn't. And so, you know, that's how that goes. And then, like I said, Nest wins easy. And we cashed this thing, a $90 ticket. And like I said, it pays $631.75. So that was fun. We had a lot of fun uh, doing that one. Um, it's not one that got your heart pounding and like the, the Monmouth one and your 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 pacing before the race. But it, it's certainly uh, going into the fourth leg of this. I was like, okay, please, let's just get some kind of price here. We've beaten a couple of favorites. Let's try to beat one more. And then we'll, we'll get the favorite home here in Ness. So... Kind of fun little uh, Saratoga Saturday there. Early pick five was a pretty nice uh, cash as well. All right. Now let's get into this one real quick here. We're going long on time, but there was a lot that happened. So um, sorry that this one is a little bit longer. Let's go to the late pick five. And uh, uh, if you didn't know what happened, we'll go through it. But the late pick five at Saratoga uh, on uh, Sunday. This was one of the luckiest. Uh, I'm not okay. I'm not going to complain for two weeks about bad luck after this. This was one of the luckiest tickets I've ever hit. Maybe the luckiest. All right. I'll pull it up on the screen now. It was a $96 ticket uh, here. And it's going to end up, we're going to end up getting this for a dollar. It's a 50 cent ticket, but we're going to end up getting it for a dollar. Uh, why? Because the seventh race was declared a no contest and therefore you get all. But well, we had two horses played in the seventh. So all of a sudden our ticket instead of 50 cents becomes a dollar if we hit it because we're going to have it twice because we're going to have it through the five and through the 10. Um, what happened was on the backside, one of the outriders yelled to the jockey, stop. The gate it hasn't moved. Uh, apparently the tractor that pulling the gate was malfunctioning and they couldn't get the gate out of the way. For whatever reason, Four or five, well, actually it's about three or four of the jockeys stopped riding. The other ones kept riding the race. And so if you're watching it live, you're like, well, gosh, these horses got hurt. There's three or four that got pulled up. That's bad. That's not what happened. They Some jockeys followed the instructions and some didn't. So they turned for home. Lo and behold, they got the gate out of the way. They got another tractor in there. They got it out of the way. 
So if you're watching it live, you don't know anything that's happening. Well, I've got the five and the five's making a strong move. And I'm like, all right, we're going to get this. Uh, just pass the one A and it's not going to be a problem. The one A battles back or the five hangs, one of the two, we'll find out. I mean, these are young horses, maybe it's a little of both, but all of a sudden it's like, okay, you know, he's a neck ahead. Now he's a nose ahead. Oh, now it's a head bob. The five loses the race right at the wire. The one comes back and beats him. So I'm throwing shit around the house. Like, ah, I cannot believe the five, you know, lost that race. I'd heard so much hype about this Chad Brown first time starter. Loses, I'm pissed. Um, and then all of a sudden they, they come on and Gary Stevens, former jockey, obviously, is on uh, Saratoga Live. And he's like, guys, something is weird. Like something's up uh, with this. He's like, the, the riders, some of them stopped, some of them didn't. Inquiry sign flashes, and lo and behold, they call it a no, a no contest because basically what happened was three or four of the jockeys just quit. And so while those jockeys had quit, I don't know that their horses were really going to run. We'll never really know for sure if they were going to run and make an impact in the race. Um, so for a lot of people like myself, this really helped the situation. Um, for some who maybe played against that five and had the one, it probably cost them a couple thousand because this thing for 50 cents paid like 500 well let's see uh, i'll pull it up now paid, i think it's paid 542 let me look at the screen here uh here we go i didn't i was not prepared yet for this 521 so the pick five paid 521 and like i said with an all in the second leg well if you have the let's say the one horse who i think was four or five to one beats a heavy favorite i think the five was almost even money it's probably going to pay three or four or five times more than what it did. So I'm not going to brag about this one much because there's some people watching this video that probably just played the one and they're pissed off and I don't blame them. So sorry if that's you. Certainly not rubbing that in your face. I guess the good news is you did cash it. Uh, the bad news is, you know, like I said, it's probably going to cost you some money. Uh, all right. So we'll quickly go through that. Uh, this sequence, I should say, like I said, was a $96 ticket. We went four deep here. We had uh, all four, all top three of these here. Uh, the four gets the job done. They're late, beat a favorite there. Uh, like I said, this was the non-race. The one A Toehead did beat the number five, but a non-race, so everybody gets all there. We got a favorite in Swiftsure here. Um, we went too deep in this spot, almost singled in this spot, decided to throw the four on. Stupid decision, four finishes last, seven wins easily. Uh, the fourth leg, this was a good one. We only played three horses in this spot. We had the one, the two, and the three. And uh, up the backside, it really looked like the three was in a lot of trouble. Wasn't running very well. The pace really set up well for the three. Really kicked home strongly. Really nice win. So got that one home, $13 there. And then this was the, the good one. We went one, two, four, six to end this thing. The four gets up, $20 payout. Uh, it, I think it was our best payout uh, of the bunch uh so we were very happy to get that like i said 521 for a dollar or for 50 cents but we had it for a dollar luckily because the all race we played two horses so you get that twice so 1042 dollars for us there so like i said saratoga about 1600 and pick five cash is actually 1700 because we hit the late pick five on friday uh, i think it made like 50 bucks paid 150 bucks so uh, almost $1,700 in cash as a pick fives this week at Saratoga. Very, very solid uh, this week after a slow opening weekend. So was very happy about Saratoga. Uh, we will quickly do one that we missed. We'll get to the heartbreaks. Uh, it, it happened the late pick five uh, on Wednesday at Saratoga. This one was very, very frustrating. Uh, I'll get to the right race in a minute. It was uh, the late pick five on Wednesday at Sar Saratoga races six through 10. Um, let me pull up the ticket now, kind of give you guys an idea of what we did here. It was a $96 ticket. We had a, um, I, I'm not going to say it was like an aggressive single, but it was kind of a, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. I mean, the horse was not the favorite uh, for the longest time. We did single in the third leg. We singled the two horse which was number two smash ticket that allowed us to go 40, 40, three deep and four deep in the other legs. I felt really good about this ticket. If smash ticket won, uh, and smash ticket did win. So now we'll go back here, uh, one more time to the results, kind of take you through it. So here's what happened. Um, 
Happy Farm wins the first uh, leg. Like I said, we went four deep there. We had all those horses, so no sweat there. Uh, we went four deep here. We got crowding out home. Uh, pretty nice win there as well. So here it is. We were three deep. We went uh, two, four, five. Or no, I'm sorry. This was the this was the single. My bad. Smash ticket. The single here got out to like a six length lead and then was barely like barely hold on. One by a head uh, at the wire was fading fast. Two more jump, maybe one more jump, and, and this horse is gonna lose. Smash ticket wins. And like I said, it's a single and it's not a three dollar winner. It's a six dollar ten cent winner. Not what you'd call aggressive, but a single nonetheless that wasn't just obvious that not a lot of people did. I felt great because now we're three by four and we've got coverage in this race, the Susie O'Kane, where I thought an upset was definitely possible. We had three horses. It looked like our two horse, Dufresne, was going to win. Turn it for home. Flattens out. The five, who is the favorite, we have her. It's like, okay, she's going to win. That's not great for the pick five, but, you know, we're alive. We're going to be alive to four horses in the last. It's not going to pay great, but it's going to be all right. She zooms by the six. She looks like she's clear. The six re-rallies and wins. And I'm like, holy shit. I can't believe the six just won. I literally played other horses thinking the five could get beat. If I had the six, I would have had to use the all button. I mean, I just never would have got to that horse. Incredible that we lost that one. Anyway, that was a loss. And then, of course, we came back to get a $12 winner in the last. We had that one on the ticket. It paid $1,800. Obviously, if the five wins that race, maybe we're getting half of that. But again, if you're playing a $96 ticket and you get six or $700 back and it's a Wednesday to start the week at Saratoga, you're feeling pretty darn good. When that happened, I was like, oh, is that what kind of week this is going to be? That's terrible. But it ended up being a good week anyway. So, but yeah, that was uh, that was kind of the heartbreaker this week. Some of the other ones, um, you know, Thursday, we just weren't close at all at Saratoga. Not even close. Friday, you know, we, we hit the early, or excuse me, the late, but the early we were nowhere close. So the weekend really heated up for us. Hopefully next week we will be able to talk about Del Mar a little bit. We seem to be the kings of going four out of five at Del Mar. I didn't put any on the heartbreak uh, situation because we would be like, winner pretty easy, winner pretty easy. Never could have had that horse. Winner, winner, you know? So we went four out of five a lot. Hopefully that's a, a scenario that does not keep happening at Del Mar. And hopefully next week we'll have Del Mar on the show and we'll talk about it a little bit. All right. Went a little long this week, but it felt like uh, we, we kind of, you know, needed to. I, I really wanted to go over that Haskell one. and kind of just show you the value of um, structuring, the value of having a, a teamwork where both of you are working on it. Both of you are kind of analyzing, uh, you know, what should we do here? Uh, I, I don't think I could have got it by myself. I don't think Jared could have got it by himself. But together we were able to do it. That's kind of the value of the product. That's kind of why we decided, hey, let's take the product in this direction. Two heads are better than one, nine times out of ten. So uh, I really, really enjoyed that one because it was a true teamwork and a true, wait, we have a single. There's no reason to go short in this leg you know, type of thing. So uh, it was just fun. A lot of fun. All right, guys, I've rambled on enough. You've seen enough of me for this show. Uh, we will be back next week, as always, with the Rockets hits and heartbreaks. Had a lot of hits this week. Let's see if we can have some more hits coming up. Uh, and guys, thanks for watching. And hopefully these videos are helping you. Um, and if they, they are, just let us know. Let us know. If you have a suggestion how to improve it, let us know as well. And we'll certainly uh, try to do our best to make everybody happy on that regard. So thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next week for the next Rockets, Hits, and Heartbreaks.